get started with uh, the adult Sunday school. We'll let the stream get started here, and then uh, we'll just begin with a word of prayer. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day of rest and worship. We thank you for Christ, who is the husband of his church, which is the bride that he loves. We pray that you would bless us as we study this subject of marriage and the family, remembering indeed that it is a picture in the created world of the union that we have between, uh, with Christ and his church and the union you have with us as your people. So help us to reflect who you are in your relationship with us, in our relationship with one another, those of us who are married, and may you enlighten and help, and help us in our minds to discern clearly your will revealed in your word. For we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Right, so we were discussing uh, two Sundays ago, because I was gone last Sunday, uh, the questions in the Bible re related to divorce and remarriage. And uh, since it's been a little bit, I just want to reiterate and summarize those things for you. Again, I've been doing that through the class, kind of each class kind of overlaps. Uh, I do that purposefully because, you know, if I just asked you off the cuff, what did we talk about last time in Sunday school? 90% of people go, uh, you just don't remember because it's been that long. So let's just reiterate this, uh, the points on uh, the question of divorce and remarriage. Uh, the... The confessions teaching, our church's confessions teaching on this subject, is given its own chapter, and you may want to have that open, because uh, again, my goal here is not just to give you my private opinion, although there are opinions or conclusions I will give you that I seek to establish on Scripture, but there's a difference between my opinion and the opinion of the confession, right? So if you go to page 862 in this hymnal, you'll find the section on marriage and divorce. Uh, 